Can't believe how many dog walkers there are. It's like seven in the evening. I thought I'd come out and try Cetus X with the GoPro, without the GoPro, 3.5 inch, because I posted about my custom build on Reddit and of course I knew it was gonna happen. Everyone's saying, oh, you need to get, you need to get a five inch with the GoPro, otherwise you can't fly very fast. So I want to try the difference between having a GoPro on and having a GoPro off and let's see the difference in this glorious North Devon scenery. Beautiful. My Cetus X, Cetus X, I've already got it wrong. My Crux 35 frame got blown to pieces within 24 hours of having it. So it's now on the Volador 3.5 inch. And I'm gonna see how this one compares with and without the GoPro, see if I can notice a difference and whether people online are, uh, are correct. I feel like I'm gonna be proving them correct here. We've got the 850 battery. So let's try it out. Oh, we've got camera on. Let's find out. Camera on and GoPro mounted and then I'll do without GoPro and just normal DVR footage. So GoPro on, full send. It's fairly good. Oh, with a GoPro arm, that was alright, not too bad. GoPro coming off, and I'm going to do full send like I just did then, minus the GoPro. Oh, he's just lost the GoPro button. And there he is, thank God. He's just so small. <laughs> right, without, see if there's a difference. Stand a little bit, stand a little bit back, see if there's a difference. No GoPro. Yeah, maybe. So I think it's safe to say that it is definitely a more reactive. but definitely feel like there is a different, I feel like it's slower, more controlled. Like I feel like I've got a lot more control without the GoPro. Yeah, definitely is more controllable. I'm gonna go back to the GoPro. Because now I've flown it like this, I feel like, I feel like there's gonna be more gravity. <laughs> Ooh, that was close. That was close. Good save. Typical, there's loads of dog walkers at the moment, so I will wait until the dog walkers have gone to test this out, which is annoying because I'm not going to get the memory of how it was without the GoPro now. <laughs> Typical. Tried to come to the quietest place I could and it's not quiet at all. This is not a fair test by any stretch of the imagination. <laughs> I'll get this one back on. The dog walkers and now there's a kite flyer, but they're over that way. I'm going to fly over this side this time. Now flying with the GoPro on. Full blast to the moon. It is a fresh battery, so it's definitely not a fair test. Side to the moon. Bit of a... Uh... Oh. That's annoying. I have lost signal. Times. 
camera has gone. I am experiencing a problem where my VTX just decides to change channels for no reason. And that's what it's just done. And thankfully, my four months of experience, I now don't panic and we just bring it back, line of sight. Like that. <laughs> but my God, when that happens, that's terrifying. So no idea why that happens. If anyone knows, leave a comment. I've had that a number of times. The Crux 35 the VTX just decides to change channels halfway through flying which is absolutely terrifying, especially when you're doing freestyle. No, it was on five today, so it's changed to five. That's super annoying. Really annoying that. And I haven't got my goggles on properly. It's a nice little sunset going on. Guy down there flying his kite. Yeah, it's a little bit more sluggish. The flips, I don't think it is. Um, about the same. Yeah, maybe a little bit. I mean, people online say it's horrendous, but... I think it's alright. Yeah, I'm not totally sure. I can't believe that I just lost my VTX. That was crazy. If you know why my VTX changes channel halfway through flying, please let me know, because it is terrifying when that happens. Dog walker's gone. I'm going to try and get another fly in with the GoPro on. Half a battery. Um, I think I'm on 3.8, 3.9 volts. And then I'm going to take the GoPro off again and attempt freestyle just in this little vicinity and see if there's any difference, which I'm starting to think minute, minute. Yeah, okay, so there's a bit of whoosh there. Oh, I don't know whether I'm going to lose signal here. Seems to be doing alright. Nope, losing signal. Oof, signal's come back. People over there flying a kite. I wonder if I can go over here. Yeah, no one over here. What's that? This is with GoPro on. I think that spinny flips and stuff are okay. It's only when you're heading towards the ground that it's deciding that it's uh, not wanting to play ball. Save that one. Right, I'm gonna try and try and whip the battery off as quickly as I can. And the GoPro. GoPro off, let's not lose that nut. And here we go again. Let's see how it flies. No GoPro. It just just feels a lot more floaty. Oh I've got a feeling this is gonna change. It just feels a lot more floaty, I think. Like, you've got more time in the air. It's not falling to the ground so quickly. A lot more responsive, but that's like what you'd expect, I guess. Oh, losing signal. Very, very nice chalky sunset going on. Yeah, it just feels a lot more controllable, I guess. Like when it when it's getting close to the ground, that's when I feel it. 
when it almost hits the ground. If, if it's with the GoPro, it's game over. But with this, I'm like, okay, going up, easy peasy. Conclusion, yes, uh, the GoPro does feel like it makes a difference. I think it's, it's generally when it's coming down and it's coming towards the ground, that's when I'm feeling that I've got, you know, I've got more give without a GoPro. It's like coming down, oh my God, I'm at the ground and I managed to save it. Whereas if I had a GoPro, I tend to bubble the ground because there's just not enough give because of course it's heavier. I mean, I enjoy it with a GoPro on. I don't notice the difference. Maybe when I'm up to a five inch, I will then realize and go against everything I'm saying right now. Oh, should unplug it. But for now, 3.5 inch with a GoPro on. I mean, maybe not the Crux 35. These are only 1404 motors. My custom build is 1804 and it's a it's got pitch eight these are pitch two and it's so much more fun to fly around a lot more give it's going to be interesting on upgrade to see if there's much of a difference so i mean it's one of those things isn't it the hive mind get a five inch yep i'm just gonna have a fly around now with the gopro on enjoy some footage if i've still got some footage like and subscribe get yourself a crux 35 it's my favorite build so far my favorite pre-build obviously with the new frame the volador flyfish frame when you have the original frame, it goes very fast and very fast into obstacles like trees and blows up into a million pieces. Any questions, any comments? If anyone knows why the VTX changes channel uh, just randomly, that would be the best one to know. I'm gonna be super interested to get home and see if there's any difference in the footage. Com do a comparison side by side. For now, I'm gonna fly in this beautiful place. Hello, this is FPV Wine editing now the video and I've had a look through the footage quick video on the iPhone just to say I think it's snappier for sure without the GoPro I noticed that I did two uh, inverted 360s upside down and both of them were fine without the GoPro but with the GoPro I messed up so whether that was just by accident or is a coincidence I'm gonna play the comparisons now and let you see for yourselves I think it's obvious without the GoPro does look a touch quicker but only a touch it's minimal I think it's minimal maybe if you were doing it for 30 seconds a minute there would be a bigger difference but because it's you know split seconds it's like two or three seconds full throttle you can't see much of a difference I don't think put a comment if you think there is but here's a comparison between the two I believe left is left is DVR and right is the GoPro footage. I mean, you can see by the quality. Thanks for watching. Until next time, go enjoy some flying. <laughs>